Jim Harbaugh got suspended the first three games. He gets suspended late. This team was just an autopilot. Stayed focused, didn't worry about distractions, believed in each other, and now they're headed to the national championship. Wolverines' first ever CFP win, and Jim Harbaugh's with Holly. Well, Coach, you're down here hugging players, and the first thing I hear you say to guys, I love you. Yeah. How do you describe the bond on this team that just got that win? It's a togetherness. I mean, they're, I don't think anybody can, we're so together, so connected, and uh, we were going to overcome anything that was inside this stadium. Talk to this man right here. He made we it will. happen. We will. Blake, your heart is bigger than the Rose Bowl. In overtime, you get the ball twice. How did you get this win? It was team effort. Team effort. What are you going to do when adversity hit? We hit some adversity today. A little sloppy, but we came together as one. You know, I'm my brother's keeper. I know my brother's had my back. And I told him, if we score, if we tie this damn good overtime, we're going to win. And we came out top. I'll see you in Houston. You had the ball. It's fourth and two. You guys have to go for it to save your season. What was the huddle like on that play that Rome Wilson came up with the big play? You know, Roman previously had a mistake, and he said, he said I promise, I'm going to make a play. And that's what Roman did. We all had faith in him. We all believed him. You know, he was just playing hard. You know, and things happen. You know, uh, I love my guys. I love my guys. I don't really know what to say right now. I'm just blessed. I want to thank God for just uh, allowing me to be here. This time last year, I wasn't here. You know, so I just want to thank God, you know, a full circle, full 365, and uh, I'm blessed. All right, we will see you in Houston. Thank you so much. Let's head over to Laura with J.J. McCarthy. Thank you, Holly. J.J., you wanted to get your rose really badly. You just ran across the field to go get it. Why was it so important to you? Um, You know, this game just means so much to me, and I have superstition, like, back in hockey, how they do with the Stanley Cup, and I didn't touch it all week, and I just was waiting for this moment to, you know, be all put in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. You vowed that this team would get back to the college football playoff. Yeah. Now you've got an opportunity to play for a national championship. What can you say about the fight of this group? I mean, the fight started week one. I mean, everything we've been through, all the adversity, you know, it's a team that goes through that adversity. It can't get to the heights that we're trying to reach. So I feel like we just did a tremendous job of responding through all that and pushing through. And we got one more game left, so it's job's not finished yet. You just bent over and you were kind of looking around and overcome a little bit. How would you describe the emotions that you're feeling right now? Um, it, it's indescribable just because the last two years, you know, being able to watch the opposing team celebrate, it's just different when I see the maize and blue confetti on the field. And, you know, just nothing. I'm nothing without this head coach, nothing without my teammates, nothing without that defense. I mean, everything was so amazing. It's just really, really amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, JJ. Thank you so much, Laura. Chris. I love this Stanley Cup reference. He was a hockey first athlete until his freshman year of high school. He could have played about any sport. But what a moment. Very, very close relationship between, of course, the 15 year NFL quarterback. That's Who's really cool. Quarterback. Man.